So I'm not saying that this dude is a narcissist, but if he is, check this out. This creator right here decided to clean her boyfriend's car while he was at work and found this, an eyelash. And as you can see, she said she doesn't wear eyelashes. She also found some blonde hair throughout the car and she ended up confronting her boyfriend. Listen to the recording and all the way through, I'm gonna tell you my thoughts. How would you feel if you went into my car? I would post about that online. What if it's misunderstanding and me and you fix it. Then okay, like, but when I, I came up to this. you and asked you about it, about or when what? you found out about it, you were like, if this is about the eyelashes, then it has nothing to do with me. How am I supposed to believe that it's nothing to do with you if it's in your car? Maybe instead of posting, just try to wait and figure things out with me before you do things like that where we can't go back. I wouldn't just do that shit without knowing the truth. Because then if you didn't do it, it was a misunderstanding like that condom where I put it in the bag. But before that, I already post everything. How would that be? It would make you look bad and then we fix it, but it's still... First of all, you act like all these people know you. It don't, but people who does know me, what are the chances of them not seeing it? So, yikes. So he saw the video before she confronted him about it. He said, look, the eyelash had nothing to do with me even though it was in my car and that blonde hair either absolutely no accountability in that situation so i'm not saying he's a narcissist but if he is it sounds narcissistic it smells narcissistic and i don't know if y'all caught that but he said several times that he would forgive her if it happened if he found a condom in her car he would forgive her before that so he's given her the mental putting her in the mental state that he would forgive her for a similar you know similar transgression those are mental mind games that a narcissistic or a toxic person would do the mindset of a manipulator so to speak because everybody's not a narcissist we know that y'all and he is so worried about his reputation and how he looks. He's worried about the TikTok. He's like, I wouldn't have posted it online for everybody to see because I knew that we would fix it. And then, but that would still happen. And you would jump to conclusions and stuff like that. I wouldn't do you like that. She said, nobody on TikTok knows you. He's like, but what about the people in real life who see it and know me? Like, what, are they, what happens then? What happens to me? Absolutely no, account no accountability, no regret, no remorse. And he didn't even, he never admitted to it. He just said that they have nothing to do with me. Their eyelashes somehow floated into the car because you know how eyelashes are detachable. It just floated. It has wings and flew into his back seat along with the hair and stuff too. So in this situation, if you are if you are dealing with a narcissistic person and you forgive them and you take them back, you just make them better cheaters because they'll vac they'll make sure to vacuum their car all the next time. I guarantee you won't you won't find another eyelash in there. New phone code, new passcode, new lock screen, new everything. You like you make you make people better cheaters when you forgive them for transgressions. When he did, he like. He did. He never admitted to it because he knew he was guilty. He knew he was caught. So I hope this helps. I'm gonna go vacuum my car out real quick. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs>